kina. Na ripoti ya mwafaka wa kitaifa ya BBI inazidi kuibua hisia mbalimbali kutoka kwa viongozi wa kisiasa. Baadhi ya wabunge kutoka bonde la ufa wamejitokeza kuiunga mkono ripoti hiyo. Wakiongozwa na kiongozi wa chama cha mashinani Isaac Ruto. Wameonya viongozi dhidi ya kuzingatia matakwa yao kibinafsi katika ripoti hiyo. Huku wakisema kwamba ripoti hiyo ni ya manufaa ya mwananchi wa kawaida na wala sio viongozi. Vile vile hao wameitaka ama viongozi hao wameitaka kamati ambayo itakayo undwa kwa ajili ya utekelezaji wa ripoti hiyo ihusishe wataalamu na wawakilishi kutoka vyama vyote bila ubaguzi wa kisiasa. So what were they telling Kenyans? The document is out and to me I think 80% or 90 for that matter is good. To my friend William Ruto. You convinced us and you are fully convinced with the reasons that the constitution we have now, we are on record saying it is not good. What has happened? Lakini tunashukuru uh, BBI kwa sababu imeleta fursa nzuri ya zizi kukutana na kutangamana kama viongozi tusungumze. Ya kwanza jobo kazi ambalo lili sinduliwa na uru kenyata na mwenzake mstaafu waziri mkuu Raila Odinga tunawapatia pongezi hatua hii imeleta nafasi nzuri kwa wakenya kuja pamoja na kuzungumza as leaders of Rift Valley we want to declare from the onset of the of our unwavering support to the BBI report and thank the two leaders for the March 9 2018 handshake that brought peace to our country following months of uh, uh, uncertainty following the divisive 2017 general election. We all know that the famous Anche culminated to the Building Bridges Initiative uh, and formation of task force and that part of the PPI report that was launched at the POMAS on Wednesday. Our people must be allowed to participate actively in the discussions as the BPI is not meant for an individual but for prosperity ends, their views must not be left out. We demand that the entire leadership, especially the ruling el elite, must set aside their political ambitions and focus on the BPI report so as to guarantee the future prosperity of our people. The most important issues affecting Kenyans <coughs> stem around the nine points that were identified uh, by the Building Bridges Initiative. And indeed, this will ensure that we have a republic that is both peaceful and progressive. In fact, this process marks a rebirth. It marks a point at which Kenya becomes closer to being a highly valued member of the Committee of Nations. A country that BBI has given prominence to getting or curing the problem of lack of cohesion in this country. Ordinary Kenyans have suffered a great deal because of negative ethnicity. We are in a country where fairness and merit has suffered at, at the altar of tribalism and negative ethnicity. Na tukasema, tunataka wanainji wetu wapewe na fasi, na sio wetu peke yake, Kenya mzima. Wapewe na fasi, wasisurutisho na mtie yote. Wapewe na fasi nzuri, walisome na watoe kauli yao. Kauli yetu pia nyingine kama viongozi tumesema ripoti hii ndio japokuwa kuna vipenge vingine labda havihitaji ama labda haihitaji kura ya maoni lakini lazima mwananchi atoe maoni